Good morning, little baby. You eating that avocado toast? Let's see, look at this. That's a beautiful breakfast. Good morning, and welcome to a home vlog. Home vlog. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> so uh, we're home today. Rosie was out sick today, so we are just doing our like normal, normal day stuff. Yeah. The baby's eating some avocado toast. He really likes the. It's like the holy guacamole, but it's it's just avocado. It's just smashed avocado, but it's so much easier to like have that than to have an avocado where I have like an hour where it's perfectly ripe for him right. to eat it. <laughs> so, so we do that, we put a little bit on some toast and we're having some strawberries. We have some leftover. That's how he tells us he really wants something. We can read the book, but we have to eat our breakfast first, buddy, because you're gonna get avocado all over your book. But he's he's been experimenting with flavors where he'll take a strawberry I decided not to do it now. He put it on his put avocado? Put it on his avocado and then... Let's see. You want to put it on there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you got more right here. Good job. He loves avocado. So, but this morning, so I have to edit... Uh, Tim did a Magic Kingdom, like, update video where he checked out sort of like what's going on around Tiana's Bayou Adventure. He rode the train. Honestly, I already edited the train part, but it was so like relaxing and calming. I love the train. Yeah, me too. I wish we had ridden it the last time we went, we did like a family day. Um, Jackson didn't want to ride it, but I wish that we had ridden it because it's such like a nice, we were talking in the live show about places. <laughs> we were talking in the live show about places around the park that are like, uh, stress-free or like less stressed than the crowded areas and some like lower um, lower like foot traffic areas of the park that I I know will eventually go because Disney can't really make money off of those spaces in the park but they're places that I love and I hope they don't go so the train is like one of those for me because it's such a I know it's an attraction so that's like a it's different but it's very it's not like getting on a roller coaster you know what I mean? And you can sit and relax and like take a minute, rest your feet. It's just less hustle and bustle than some of the other ones. Oh, you're doing it? Yeah. Did you? Was that so funny? Now let's see. Mm hmm. Is it good? <laughs> Do you like it? You, you want to try it so again? cute. You want to show mommy? Show mommy. Put a, put a strawberry on there. Put a strawberry on here. Show mommy. Put a strawberry. Let's see. Nope. nope. Right Just kidding. The, <laughs> the other thing that's funny though about him too is that he like has a sense of humor. Like he 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 does funny things and he knows they're funny and he like laughs at things. And then yesterday when I was putting him to sleep, he laughed in his sleep and he like almost woke himself up because he was like laughing so hard. So I think that's really cute. And Jackson, I don't remember Jackson doing that. Jackson's very funny. He's a super funny kid. But Oliver, I think, is gonna be like a little comedian. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's already there. The roots have been laid. Is that right? What do you see? Do you see yourself? <laughs> Are you watching yourself eat avocado? Yeah. All right, bud. <laughs> you no showed more. me your food. <laughs> no more avocado. So, um, anyway, right now, I have to finish editing that Magic Kingdom video, and then we're doing like a million loads of laundry. And which we also still haven't gotten our new washer and dryer yet. We're on the fence about the Speed Queen. Yeah, because of the size of the. I want to do a stacked unit so we have more room in there. But the barrel, what's that called? Like the drum on the washer of a Speed Queen is small. It's three and a half cubic feet. Whereas like a normal one, the one that's in there right now is like four, four and a half. And then the large capacity is five. Which doesn't seem like a big difference, but it is because one of you guys said that you can't even wash your comforter in the Speed Queen, which is like, that's a deal breaker for me. Right. So, I don't know. Cause we have to get, we can't get the top loader. We have to get the front loader. Anyway, let us know your thoughts. All right, so here's the question that we've been asking recently. Would you rather see a weekend Disney cruise on the Wish where we go, it's just a normal, normal week, a weekend cruise, leave on Friday, come back on Monday, go to Nassau and cast away, but do stuff that is new to us on the cruise, or would you rather see us go on a Disney World staycation to a resort we've never been to before, or a room we've never stayed in before? Let us know in the comments down below which one you would prefer to see. Here's something that I find interesting about Oliver. 
He like gravitates to things, and one of the things that he gravitates towards is this golf club. Hello, what are you doing? <laughs> but like he loves this golf club. He doesn't do anything with it. He just likes to have it and hold it. What you doing, buddy? Where's your ball? Yeah, there's some balls under there. You want to go get them? Yeah. He's still in a... If he sees something and he wants to get to it quick, he'll crawl, but he will walk around the house nonstop. You want me to get it for you? So, even when Rosie isn't here, we do try to keep his normal routine. So right now, Tim is gonna take him out to do some bubbles outside in the backyard. All right, so this little buddy, let me see your cute outfit. What's your, what's your fit for the day? You got your Winnie the Pooh shirt on, there's Tigger, Eeyore Piglet, your little blue shorts. Yeah. And you're gonna do some bubbles. He's like trying to run away. No. Doing? He's trying. The little bubble blaster. There it goes. One little bubble. Can you do it? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, look at that. You made those bubbles. Whoa, good job, buddy. So the baby's down for his first nap. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, I was the quiet flight store, Universal closed. Sad times. But they were even like 50% off, so I got this shirt. I like it. 50% off. It's yeah. funny because you always like don't like yellow. Yeah. But it's I know it's kind of like a like a mustardy yellow, but I think this is a cool shirt. I really like wearing button-down shirts, but like they're uncomfortable for me <laughs> in my current physique. Oh no. Yeah. So I don't want to like, I know that I'm not overweight or anything like that, but like it's just uncomfortable to wear like a button down shirt. And so but I like wearing them. Yeah. So I buy them and then like I just try to lose weight. <laughs> like, I believe yeah. in you. I believe you're going to wear this shirt. You're going to wear, wear the, shirt you're going to wear the shirt out of that shirt. Oh, on the next cruise that we go on. <laughs> oh wait. So tell everybody, what are you doing oh, right now? Yeah. So the washing machine has been leaking, right? Yeah. And so when I, real quick, like when I do the, oh no, why are you still going? Stop. Still like zooming in. Yeah, it's like the button gets stuck. Yeah. So I just, I'm doing laundry right now. You can probably hear it. But um, sometimes when I take the laundry out of the washer, there's like a puddle of water over here. And so Tim was like, we need to drain it. Well, so this drains down all the excess water and then there's a, um, a filter in here that we have to clean out. But if I take that filter out right now, just like a ton of water will come out. Right. So I'm thinking maybe that filter is like, I don't know, overflowing. Clogged something. or something? Clogged. Oh. Yeah. So I'm gonna drain down the water, take the filter out, see what it looks like in there. And then hopefully that'll help. And you guys are gonna go along for the ride. Yeah. Who's I'll ready? Put you guys in there. Who's going with me? Who, me. <laughs> My favorite part about this is usually there's nothing in this filter though. So let's have a look. Let's see what's in there. Oh, today? There's a lot. Oh my goodness. What is all this stuff? This is wild. It's like, this is part of the washing machine seal. I don't know what these things are. They're like plastic. I know there's like pieces of like a red towel that got, that was broken. But like these things, they look like sticks, but they feel like plastic. I don't know what this is from, but there's like rocks and stuff in here too. From like, I'm assuming cause I washed Jackson's shoes one time. I'm assuming those rocks are from Jackson's shoes, like, or my shoes even, because I've washed my shoes too. Wild. I don't know any of this stuff. It smells good. It smells like laundry detergent in here, but I don't know why, like, what happened? What is all this? So now we pop it back in. I did want to point out that this is the seal that I was talking about, that we could see parts of it in there. It's between here and the drum, so I know that that could be causing some of the leakage. This is one of the reasons that we need a new washing machine, is because the seals are starting to go bad. But also that was like very full and it like this is what probably prevented it from draining so well. So let's let's run it and see how it does. All right, so now it's running. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> see if there's a big puddle underneath it. 
Like we said though, we do need a new washer. The dryer still works pretty good. It came with the house, the dryer that went with the washing machine that we have in there. It, the, the heating coil kept breaking on it. Like we kept replacing it, replacing it. So we just decided we'll use the one that came with the house and we'll get rid of this one. And so uh, we're probably in need of both a washer and a dryer. I also want to show off this jacket that I got from the Quiet Flight store closing. This was also 50% off. It's quote unquote my raincoat. It's water resistant, not like waterproof, which is like basically what all of my raincoats are because they're also breathable. So you don't get too sweaty while it's raining. So this won't protect me in a huge like downpour, but it'll keep me dry for a quick jaunt through the rain. Like I like this. it, yeah. If it's raining outside, then I do one of these. <laughs> that way I'll be nice and dry. It's cool though, I like the colors. Yeah, does it have like a vent back here? Yeah, yeah it, does. it does, yeah, yeah. So I have one too from, is that one from Billabong? This one is from Billabong, yeah. I have one from Billabong that's like a mustard yellow color that I really like. Yeah, you look cool. But here's the thing, here's the secret. What? This is nice for bringing to the theme parks because it has a little pocket here that you can shove the whole thing inside of. It's packable. Yeah. So it'll be down to this size and then you're good to go. Look at that. And, and it yeah. was half off. And it was like 20 bucks. Heck yeah. But here's that jacket all packed up, ready to go with me wherever I need to take it. Fit right in my bag. See, here's my bag. Fits right in there. Perfect. Not a worry in the world. Zips right closed. Speaking of my bag, this is what I take with me every single day to the theme park. So this is the camera that we use when we go to the theme parks. This is a Sony a7S III with a 24 to 105 G optical stabilization lens on it. It's not a G master. It's just a G lens because they don't, I don't know why they don't make G masters that are stabilized. I like that. This is a peak design capture clip that keeps the camera on the side of it right there. So I can just pull that off. Usually there's a microphone on top. We have been using the Deity D4 Duo sometimes, but we just recently switched to the Rode Wireless Pro setup. So that would sit on top of here and there's a cord that connects that. And then also on the outside, I have a water bottle that also has a quick clip disconnect and it's hard for me to do with one hand, but yeah, just have a water bottle on there. And then when you go up to the top of it, you open it up and we've got all kinds of fun stuff inside of here. Got a little tripod here. This is called a uh, pig tech, I think, piggy tech, PGY tech. And this is, will hold the big camera. It's pretty substantial too. And then it also comes with an adapter that stores inside of it. This is an adapter for the phone. And then it also has this little guy. That's what really why I bought it was this folds out. So you can like hook it onto a fence or something like that. So that little guy will hold to the top of the fence and the legs go on the fence. Kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe, but if this were a fence, it would be like that. And that's basically all we ever use that for, is for when we're sitting at a table to do food reviews, but it also has different spots where you could put like a microphone down here, you could put a microphone on here, you can extend this out so you can use it as a handle. I don't ever use it as a handle, but we take that with us. I got an emergency poncho, which will probably come out now that I've got that jacket. We've got an extra lavalier microphone just in case something goes wrong. This is like an extreme backup where I just plug this straight into the camera and I have at least a microphone with me. I've got a little fan. This is a little like fold out fan. I'll see if I can do this one handed. So it does get hot here in the summertime. So we have this to kind of just cool us off a little bit. It's not very powerful, but it, we can bring it with us. And it also it can be used as a backup battery for your phone or for even the camera in a pinch. But we don't ever use that for the camera because we got extra batteries in here as well in this inside pouch and a little like an eyeglass kit with a little tiny screwdriver in there just in case something goes wrong. Nothing ever does but just in case. I also carry a light with me, like a little tiny ring light. Uh, it's dead right now. Ooh, that's a new one. I haven't charged this thing since I bought it, but I just got this. It was like $10 at Target. So I'll charge that up, but we use that occasionally at night. And the rest of the stuff is like hand sanitizer wipes and like lens cloths. And then in the front pouch, we've got various business cards that people have given me and then a cord for charging. And then usually there's a battery for the phone in here. I just don't have it in there right now. But yeah, and this is the Peak Design 3 liter everyday sling. So I want to move up to the six liter because this is kind of small for me, but that's it. This is what we bring to the theme park all the time. And this has been through the ringer. You can see the difference in color between the front and the back just from the sun fading it. You can also see the camera has been through it too. Like look at the, look at the fading on it. Boy, oh boy. Tried and true though has lasted for a little while now. It's been beat up pretty good. How beat up has the camera been? You may ask. This is a lens that was on it when we dropped it at Universal Studios Hollywood during Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. 
So this part popped off from the camera. It was it's, this part was still attached to the camera when I got to it. And so yeah, pretty darn beat up. Dropped right on the lens and broke that part off of it, but this part was still connected to the camera and the camera lasted through it. All right, so Oliver should be getting up soonish from his nap. So we're just blending up. We had some spinach. I feel like he likes the taste of spinach, but I think it's like the texture. I think it's a texture thing. He doesn't really like love to eat it. And so I don't know what it was focusing on, something behind me, but a so ghost. we're a ghost, a ghost. So we're just blending it up with our little like immersion blender thing. And maybe we'll make it into like a, uh, a sauce to put over pasta or rice or something. Yeah. I think we'll give it a try. Mm. I don't want to like, I don't want to forego the spinach completely, you know? It smells so good, smell it. Yeah, it just smells like green. <laughs> but green. the thing I wanted to show you though, so when we went to the Moonlight Magic at Animal Kingdom, we were invited by Paul who, we hung out with him all night, it was a lot of fun, but he, we were talking about Coke, Coca-Cola. I love Coca -Cola. I love a good Coca-Cola. I love frozen Coke. I love, my favorite is Mexican Coke in a glass bottle. I've talked about this before, but we were talking about it and he said, um, oh, he, he gave us, he let us know that right now, Coca-Cola, if you see it in the grocery store with a yellow, like here's the, here's the bottle, but it has a yellow top, like the cap is yellow, which signifies that it is kosher for Passover. Oh, you can see there's some Hebrew writing on there. Yeah. So basically what that means is that it does not have high fructose corn syrup because that's not kosher. It has cane sugar. Right there, cane sugar. So he was like, you should go get it. If you see the yellow lid at the store, you should buy it because it's gonna taste delicious with the cane sugar. And here's what I did. What? I got that and I heard him say that, pointed that way a little bit, and I ran to the store like this. <laughs> That's a callback. It's a callback, but I ran across the screen earlier. <laughs> but I poured some in a glass and I'm gonna try it. I, I almost shook it up. Just, <laughs> I don't know why. Give it a little, <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> Really good. Oh. Man. I know that Coca Cola is like not really great for you. Soda is not great for you. But like, let me just have this one thing. Well, what's you bad know? for you in this? Right? I mean, soda is not good for you. Right, but like, I understand, but that's because of the well, sugar and stuff. Because like, they say like it can r take the rust off of like a, a, you know, metal and. It's got phosphoric acid in it. I I'm sure it's not great, but I like it. I don't drink it often. It's only got 35, 34 milligrams of caffeine. Mm. It's it's seventy eight percent of your daily sugar allowance. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I'm just I only had a little. I, I didn't That's do it a... for twelve ounces for that amount. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, there you go. That's it, folks. Don't yeah, you drink. No more sugar. Don't drink it. Holy but it's macaroni. it's so so, so good. So if you're like me and you like the like real sugar Coke, try to find it. It's only got forty five grams of sodium though, so like a little bit healthy. <laughs> I'm not gonna read labels anymore. It's not a good idea. <laughs> All right, the washing machine just finished. No puddle underneath, and the stuff was not overly wet when it went into the dryer. Also, recently Jackson was complaining that his booster seat was uncomfortable, so we got him this. It's like just an extra pad that goes on top of the regular seat. Kind of raise him up a little bit, like a padded booster seat almost. We just got it on Amazon. We'll put a link to it in the description down below if you guys are interested in it. I don't know how it works. He hasn't tried it yet, but yeah, it looks kind of nice. Looks like it'll be easy to clean and uh, comfortable too, like it's it's not as soft as like the regular cushion, but it's still like softer than a hard plastic thing that he was sitting on before. So if you guys recall back to earlier in the video, we talked about whether we wanted to do a Disney cruise or a weekend stay at Walt Disney World. And I had asked Jackson the same question. He was like, maybe the Disney Resort, maybe the Disney Cruise, I'm not, I don't know. Well, I'm not sure, I don't know which one to do. I like them both. But then he's like, would we be able to stay at the hotel where we watched the fireworks. And I was like, which which hotel are you talking about? Like, can you be more specific? He's like, you know, the one with the juice. I was like, the one with the juice? He's like, the special juice. And I was like, what special juice is this? He's like, you know, the one with Mike Wazowski on the top. Long story short, when we stayed at Swan Reserve, they had set up some juices in the refrigerator for us. And one of them had Mike Wazowski on the top. And that's what Jackson wanted. He's like, I want to stay at that hotel because they have that juice. And I was like, buddy, we can get that juice at the grocery store. So long story short, ka-chow. We got some Lightning McQueen juice for him to drink, but it's like, it's all fruit juice. It contains 72% juice. That's a high percentage amount. Uh, it's not 100% though. 
but it's water, pear juice, and apple juice concentrate. And then it has like vitamins and minerals in it. And that's it. So there's not like any added sugar to it. So it's not, he's getting like fruit sugars. He's not getting like high fructose corn syrup or something like that. But like, I'm like, yeah, we can get that at the grocery store. So like, do you still want to stay at that hotel? He's like, yeah, because it has the juice. And I'm like, buddy, we're going to go get that juice at the grocery store. And then we got it. And I forgot to ask him if he wanted to take that juice to any specific resort. So we'll ask him today, see what he says. Oh, also I wanted to ask, um, so right now we're using the G7X Mark II. This is like tried and true. We've been using it for years upon years upon years. Um, this is just kind of like what we use around the house because it's easy to carry around, easy to pick up. Like we're not trying to show like detail in a theme park. We're just like talking to you guys, right? Uh, and it's still a good picture. It's still a good camera. But I've seen a lot of people using the DJI Pocket 3. Does anybody out there have it? And have it in comparison to the G7X Mark II? Like, which do you prefer? I don't know. I was interested in it because I've seen a lot of people using it. And it, like to me, it seems like that's either a lot of people are using it because it's the newest and latest thing. And they're like, oh, I got to buy the shiny thing. Or it's good and a lot of people like using it. So I'm not, I don't, you know, I haven't figured that out yet. But I didn't want to go out and buy it if, like, it was just a new shiny thing and not actually that good. Oliver's still asleep, but here is his spinach noodley concoction. Looks, uh, looks pretty wild. Pretty green. All right, somebody's awake. It's me. <laughs> I'm awake. I've been awake for a long time. <laughs> Hello? Hi, buddy. Did you have a good nap? <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> Hi. You want to take off your swaddle? Hi, buddy. Huh? Oh, your books? Are you looking at your books? What do you need? <laughs> you ready for some lunch? Are you hungry for some lunchies? You want some milk? Oh, yeah, milk. You want some milk? You okay? What's going on? <laughs> what are you looking at? Are you looking at your books? His bookshelf is right here. Let's see. And he loves his books. What are you going for? Bubba bubba. Bubba bubba. Oh, you want to go on your little gym mat? Okay. Here's the perfect example of Oliver's sense of humor. Where's your rocket? You put it on your thumb? Show it to me. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Look at that. It's on your thumb. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Jackson's home from school and he asked me, what did you ask me to do? Put the M&M's <laughs> in the mantas. So we're hiding some Easter eggs. They have M&M's in them. He said, can you hide some eggs for me? And I said, oh, <laughs> and the baby found one. No, not for babies. No. No. no for babies. Oh, no, I got to rehide this one. All right, let's try to find some of these Easter eggs, buddy. Yeah. Let's look around. Try to find some Easter eggs. Hmm. Where would some Easter eggs be? I'm not gonna lie, the house is a little bit like covered in toys right now. So Look, he just looked at one. Look, I got one. Oh. Good job, buddy, good job. Do you want your basket? Yeah, I need a basket. Oh, okay. Right at him, and you're not even gonna know that you're looking at him because there's so many toys around. How many? How many are there? There's five. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. You need a basket. Okay, you want to use your car basket? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there. Okay, good. Uh oh. Oh no, that went behind. Oh, brother. So I'm thinking maybe yeah, we. The, uh, the last two are in the living room. They're in this room. Check on the couch, buddy. Don't give him any hints. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I thought I was looking too. I was like trying oh. to. Okay, look on the couch, buddy. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't look on the couch. <laughs> no, look on the couch. Keep looking. What do you think? No. I, for one, am constantly looking. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I wish I'd been I showing Jackson. Because he goes. <laughs> you did find it, buddy. All right, so there's one more. Mommy says it's in here in this living room. I found it. You, you did. found it. Where was it? On the little car, oh, the car ramp. what? I was looking up high because we said we weren't putting them where Oliver could get them, and then that's right on Oliver's toy. Well, I'm sorry. What? It just was a good spot, so I, I wanted to Mom. make. Yeah. Mom. Mom, Mom, you did it! Happy Easter! Yay. I just, I just won the whole game. You, you won the whole game. 
Yeah, wow. Ready, buddy? I won the whole game. Now you got five M and M's. Oh, can I have one? Yeah, you could. Thank you. So we also have to work on Jackson has show and tell, and we're gonna make something special for show and tell. We have to work on that today too. Now it's time for dinner, and Jackson is here eating that? veggie. Well, they're meatballs with some veggies in them. Yeah, they got carrots, and he's got some peas, and he's got some orzo. He's got his dip dip sauce. What's your dip dip sauce made out of? Ketchup and mayonnaise. Ketchup and mayonnaise. And Oliver is eating pretty much no. the same thing, just without the dip dip sauce. Right, bud? No. Yeah. And for us for dinner, we've got some harissa glazed tofu with couscous and cucumber mint salad. Looks pretty darn good, actually. It's going to be like a teeny bit spicy. Oh, no. But I added, they, I added agave to the spice. Oh. Uh -huh. Sweet and spicy, oh, okay. So now it's bedtime, we had dinner, everybody's full of delicious food, we had baths, we brushed our teeth. <laughs> I really liked the dinner. I don't know if Tim liked it, but I really liked it. Yeah, what did you think about your dinner? Did you like it? You ate most of it, you did pretty good, right? <laughs> um, but after we put everybody to bed, so I'm gonna put Jackson to bed, and Jackson has requested oh, mommy put him to bed. to bed. That's what I heard. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I love you. Put me to bed for the whole night. For the whole night, I know. He always wants me to sleep with him the whole night, and I can't, because, buddy, I have to do the dishes, and I have to do laundry, and I have to, I still have work that I have to do. You could but... do that all tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I have work I have to do tomorrow, too. I wish I didn't. But I do, buddy. But like this morning, what I did was, is I went in there at probably like six. Don't and tell him your secrets. No, I told him I was gonna do that oh, yesterday. Okay. I said, I said, I can't sleep with you all night, but what if I come in in the morning before you wake up and it'll be like I slept with you all night. And he said, he said, yeah, do that. So I did that. Did you like that? Yeah. See, that worked. So maybe you want me to do that again? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, good night. Um. <laughs> I was really just to sleep with Dad because he's being poopy. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> he's who's being, being a, poopy? He's being Oliver a wiggle or daddy? Worm. Oh yeah. Daddy. Who's who's the poopy? Oliver or Daddy? Oliver. Oh no. Oliver. Uh oh. I take a <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. You are so silly. Okay, so it's bedtime. So we will see you guys after bedtime. We'll be right back. So we have this frame TV, right? Yeah. And oh wait. What about dinner? What? Okay, dinner, <laughs> dinner dinner was good. I really like the, the tofu, mm -hmm. like the harissa glazed tofu, and I really like the cucumber salad. Okay. It was like, I liked how fresh it was, yeah. and then like how sweet and spicy the harissa was. Yeah, I really liked that a lot. That was That's really good. good. I feel like that'd be really good on like chicken. I know that obviously this is a vegan box, so it doesn't, you know, there's no chicken, but I think it would be good. I think that's one thing that purple carrot makes me, it makes me like want meat. Oh. Yeah, like it makes me like this. This recipe would be really good with some meat. <laughs> yeah. But I do like purple carrot. I just feel like, I don't know. You know, you know how it goes. Yeah. So speaking of wanting meat, <laughs> we finished watching Fallout. Oh yeah. Very good show. It was so. I think I, we talked about it a little bit in the live show. I want to rewatch it because I was watching it, but like doing other things. And so I watched all the way to the end, the ending. I feel like it's a really great show, like just from what I saw, yeah. but I'd like to really pay attention to it. I'm very excited for season two. Yeah, but I, I that happens. when, yeah, when will it happen? I don't know. I hope it happens sooner rather than later. Do you guys find that now in like the streaming age? So like back when we were just like watching shows on television, it felt like season two came quicker. Well, yeah. But like now that you're like, can binge watch a show yeah. in like a day if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah. and then it's like season two is very far away. Well, because how long is a season? A season is like, uh, like the show goes on for like four months. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, this was eight episodes. So if you did it for a week, yeah, it'd be two two months. Okay, so yeah. And then yeah. the next one would be a year later. I don't know. Is that, I can't remember like when we just watched TV on TV, yeah. I can't remember how that worked. How far apart seasons were. Yeah. But also like, it makes sense because this is like, looking at the sets and everything, this is a big budget thing. Yeah. So oh, it's yeah. like a movie. So it takes a long time to make. 
I'm, but I'm so, yeah, I'm super excited for season two. I, I've never played the game. I'm not really familiar with the game, but I don't think you need to be. I want to play the game now. I don't. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I am very excited to see what happens in season two. I think I just want to know which characters are like from the game. Like I know that like dog meat's from the game. Who's that? The dog. Oh, is that his name? Yeah. Oh, I thought his name was 404. No, he calls him dog meat. No, but it like in when they show him, like yeah. it's like CX404. Yeah. But I like, just thought that was his name. I think that in the game he's named dog meat. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, I don't know though. I've never played the game. Huh. I kind of thought that the actual like Fallout boy, like the the kid, Pip Boy. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be like a, in the show for some reason. Is his name Pip Boy? The thing on the wrist is Pip Boy. Yeah, but I just thought that that little guy, you know, the like guy. I thought that he was gonna be a character. I didn't think he was like the mascot. That I thought he was gonna be in the show. Oh. Okay. But he wasn't. <laughs> It was like just... an, a little animated character like Miss Minutes? No, because like the game, I thought the Fallout game was animated. Okay. And so I'm like, oh, he's a character, the little kid. Oh, I see what you're saying. But he wasn't. He wasn't a character. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I'm really liking this as a non-gamer. Like I'm not a gamer girl. I never played video games. I was never into that. I think the only video games I ever played was like the Simpsons game on uh, Nintendo. Ooh. Hard one. <laughs> that was like the only game I ever played. Um, but I feel like I'm liking all of these game based shows. Like yeah. Twisted Metal was really good. I really enjoyed it. I hope that comes back. Obviously Last of Us. I feel like Fallout is better than Last of Us. A long time since I've seen Last of Us. Last of Us was more uh, sad. It really yeah. like tugged on your, like I cried multiple times in Last of Us, like sobbing, crying. Uh, and in, uh, Twisted Metal made me cry, but this show never made me cry. And you're saying that it's better than those other two? Yeah, because sometimes I don't want to cry. Okay. <laughs> I just want to watch like a show. Okay. You know? So, but I also just think it's a better show in general. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you seen all of them? What was your fave? What do you think? Have you played the games? Like, do you have a favorite game? Yeah. Can't wait for the Banjo-Kazooie live action. What's that? Like another game. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So there uh, you go. So we have this TV, right? It's like a piece of art. That's what it's supposed to be. It's called the frame. Mm -hmm. And it has this rotating art that comes through. And right now we have it set on the spring thing, right? It's like yeah. spring collection. Yeah. And th it shows, not in this one, but there are other times it has showed the most strange photos, <laughs> paintings, whatever, scary things. Not Scary. There was one that, that I just didn't like. It was like unsettling. Right. And it was, I think it's in this picture bundle, but it's like a, a photo, like a photo realistic. I think it's a photo of like a bouquet of flowers, but in the center of all the flowers are eyeballs. Yeah. And it's not like scary. It's not like a horror type. It's just like unsettling. I was just like, I don't like this. <laughs> like, can we change it? Yeah. But there were some like Renaissance paintings and stuff where like, there was wild things happening in them. Mm. And like, but Jackson has only said that one painting was scary ever. Oh, what was it? Do you know what it was? No. Oh. This one. This one? Jackson's like, this is scary. Why? It's a tree. I know. I don't know. But he said that this one was scary. Oh, okay. So. I wonder what he sees it as. No. It could just be like the colors are too like aggressive for him. Well, I also don't know if he can tell that it's just a tree. Right. Like, I think if he were to step really far back, he'd be able to be like, oh, it's just a tree. But yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah. But he didn't care about the eyeball one. He was fine with that one. I love the eyeball one. So. He's like, there it's go. got a little spaghetti in it. That's what he said about the eyeball one. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what happened though tonight is that, so I put Jackson to sleep and I lay down with him and I ended up falling asleep. And I feel like it, it messes up my entire night because I fell asleep for a whole hour. Oh no, I was trying to let you sleep. I could have gone up there earlier and gotten you out. No, I mean, you should have either just gotten me earlier or just let me sleep the whole night. Oh no. It's like, but it, but sleeping for an hour from like nine to 10, it, it, cause I still have to work. I still have to edit this video. It um, like messed up my whole rhythm. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. No, no, you didn't do it. I did it. I fell asleep, but it was funny though, because Jackson was like, 
I don't, he's just so funny because he'll tell me stories about school. He'll tell me stories about his friends at school. I know right now he's really worried because his friends are, uh, they're moving on to a, another like class next year. They're not going to be in his class. And he is sad about it. Right. He's really bummed because he's like, there's the two friends that he hangs out with like the majority of the day. They're not going to be in his class anymore. And uh, I was like, well, buddy, you just have to make some new friends. And hopefully like new friends will come into the class and like fill up those spots. And um, I think he's like nervous about making new friends. Right. So I don't know. We had to talk about it. Uh, he was excited about sign language because we watched Pinkalicious with the sign language like interpreter in the bottom of the screen. And so then he was trying to t tell me all the sign language that he knew. So that was like cool that it stuck with him. Yeah, I guess they're teaching him sign language because the other day he got into the car and he's like, this is water. And I was like, yeah. Very cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so it's, it's my, I really enjoy that time of like just getting to talk to him for like an hour. We just get to talk about everything for like an hour. Yeah. And like I talk to him, I mean, obviously like all day throughout the day, but when it's just me and him, and he's like, <laughs> it's, I think because he's like delirious because he's like about to like go to sleep. So he's like in this like tired phase. So he just says like silly stuff. Right. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I really enjoy it. But when I fall asleep for an hour, that makes it hard for the rest of the night. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of falling asleep, I'm ready to go lay down my head on a pillow like this. Yeah. But thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I know today we had planned on doing other stuff, but we just, you know... Th things change sometimes so we were Life um comes at you fast. we were at home with the baby we had so much fun the baby is growing so much he's just like changing every single day you know um so yeah it was great i hope you guys had fun hanging out with us yeah. it was a fantastic day so all in all it was a fantastic day you gotta <laughs> say all in all that's the way it is and with that being said we are off we'll see you all tomorrow and, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price, price.